Good morning, my name is Dave Walters uh, from Dave Walters Yachts in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, this morning we're in Annapolis at the Spring uh, Boat Show and uh, we have on display a beautiful custom Antigua 60. Uh, she was brought up by the owners from Puerto Rico for the boat show. Uh, she's a extremely well equipped uh, a cutter. Here we have a closer view of Suleiman. Uh, note the uh, swim platform uh, that was custom built. Uh, it folds up uh, right against the transom. Uh, it's a very stable uh, uh, surface to uh, board the boat. Uh, you can see this amazing arch uh, with the solar panels, wind generators. Uh, have the water toys uh, and now we're going to go up a little closer here to this um, uh, hard top over the uh, cockpit. Uh, Suleiman um, is a total custom. Hi, my name is Damien. I'm the owner of this Antigua 60 I'm standing on named Suleiman. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. We're up here at the Annapolis Boat Show presenting her for sale. We bought this boat a little over six years ago. I've done some 20,000 miles on her. I wanted something a little heavier and, and a little more stable to deal with the Caribbean seas, and this vessel has certainly provided that for us. She's easy to handle, she's fully automated, uh, and she's a, a pleasure to, to go buck any seas and at good speeds as well and do it comfortably. Um, we've been living aboard full time for six years and uh, we've got her equipped in such a way that she offers every possible amenity anyone could desire to live aboard vessel. Uh, so we're happy to present her and we welcome you aboard. Okay, here on the foredeck of Suleiman we've got a solid vang. Uh, as you can see on the deck all of our halyards lead back to the cockpit so you never have to leave the cockpit for sail, uh, for raising the sail or for reefing. You've got the hard top uh, framing out the, the cockpit here with stainless steel framework. Uh, it closes the easy 2CY enclosure. Center window opens up and folds up against the uh, underneath side of the ceiling, allowing full ventilation. Set up, we have a leisure furl system. So it is a fully battened main rolled up inside the boom here with a drum forward and a lock pin right here. All of it leads back to the cockpit, so that, again, no reason to leave the cockpit to raise and lower your main, or reef it for that matter. Uh, another deck feature we have here on Suleiman is the tall bulwarks that run four from the deck all the way back, providing extra safety. Uh, higher uh, uh, rails, thicker, uh, thicker lifelines, plenty of grab rails, uh, down into the opening uh, portholes here with the uh, sun, sun windows and rain windows so that you uh, can have them open even done when it's raining. Okay, here on the aft deck of Suleiman we have our spacious aft deck. We have two folding stern, double stern seats back here for uh, your gatherings of guests. Uh, back here is the arch which with a power winch to raise and lower the dinghy so that happens in about five minutes. Uh, very, very easy system to work with. Also frames out for two more of our solar panels, two wind generators, our array of antennas. Here we have the, the walk-in cockpit for Suleiman, which is one of the greatest features for the center cockpit boat. Not having to climb up over or duck down under anything, you can walk right into the cockpit very comfortably and very easily. Everything leads back to this cockpit, so there's never a reason to leave it while underway. The Suleiman cockpit here, we have a, a pretty basic helm station. We've got all the instruments you need to drive the boat safely. We have a forward-looking sonar, uh, two scope. We have our uh, Raymarine autopilot. We have our Furuno radar with a GPS plotter. Um, and then we have our repeat monitor, which is our navigation system. Uh, this is basically a PC-based system. It's a Noble Tech Odyssey software. The nice thing about that is you can always change computers easy and you don't have to worry about changing the hardware. So all of this is repeated down from the nav station below uh, where the computer is located. But you have full control right here at the helm station. And now take you below in Suleiman. We've got a stairwell, notice the handrails. Uh, we're coming into a full beam salon. The table raises and lowers. And we have a breakfast bar to starboard. And as we come back around, we've got a straight settee to port and a nav center uh, after the port settee. Now we're looking aft. Um, 
from the main salon. And here we are now at the nav station of Suleiman, and uh, not to be too repetitious from the uh, uh, electronics at the home station, the entire boat is networked together, so you have redundancy coming throughout. Uh, again, you still have another uh, sonar, uh, multi-control uh, uh, gauge here, uh, it's NX2, it's networked together with the gauges up in the helm, as well as into the PC. There is a custom 12 volt computer down here that houses the navigation software, which is a Noble Tech Odyssey software. All of that integrates into the PC, so you have on the, on the screen, both here and at the helm, you have all of your instrumentation visible on the display along with your navigation charts. So it's all right there as well as being on the gauges or the instrumentations as well. You have your SSB radio, which is set up with a modem so you can send your emails anywhere in the world via SSB radio. You can also, you know, you just type them in on the computer just like you would at home. You can also use your incorporated built-in satellite telephone for a modem as well as the voice talk. And you can send your uh, emails via sat phone as well. Uh, standard VHF radio, a uh, Quantum GX3500S. Uh, we've got an active radar ping which uh, enlarges your signal uh, when, you're, when you get a radar hit from other ships as well as uh, alerting you to the fact that you have been pinged by radar. We also have AIS with the silent mode so you can turn that off so you can see other ships and know where they're going and where they're heading uh, without broadcasting your position or you can choose to broadcast your position in your direction. Here you have your Furuno radar uh, with the GPS chart plotter as well um, and all of that with the radar overlay. This is a redundant system to this system over here. We have about six GPS antennas on the boat. Salon of Suleiman, you have your entertainment center. This is your pop-up 40-inch flat screen. It's a 3D HD TV, and uh, it rises up for everyone in the room. Now, feeding this uh, flat screen TV, first of all, it's also on wheels, so it pivots out for everyone in the room to see. Uh, we have our entertainment center here, which is a 3D DVD player, a direct TV receiver. Uh, a regular Yamaha receiver for your Dolby surround sound movie pleasure as well as music listening. And then our entertainment computer. Hi, welcome to Suleiman. I'm one of the owners and this is my galley. Um, we start with a, a, a great breakfast bar here before you enter into the galley. And when you do, once you get in you have a huge full-size stainless steel sink and the beautiful Corian counters along with the cabinets that open up very deep and slide out and also stowage for pots and pans behind along with um, the terrific four burner stove and oven where we have this slide down um, door along with a trash compactor, a full-size dishwasher, microwave, more stowage here for larger appliances. We're now going to take a look at the port side of the full beam galley. Along here is the uh, pantry with pull-out drawers, a lot of space in these custom cabinets, along with the refrigerator, full-size refrigerator and freezer, and then along the port side is more storage with a workstation and along here going aft is a um, washer dryer, full size washer dryer. We're now entering the owner's aft master suite with centerline queen. We have double hanging lockers to starboard, drawers under the berth, beautiful teak headboard, lots of storage, bookshelves and we're going to go into the owner's head that has a wide vanity counter lockers and a impressive shower. We're now going to walk forward into the uh, two guest cabins uh, there's one to starboard which we'll show you a little later uh, we're going to go directly into the VIP forward cabin with um, Centerline Queen Berth. Amazing storage. Uh, matching hanging full length lockers to port, shelf lockers. 
and additional shelf lockers to starboard. There's two uh, deck hatches for ventilation, fans, excellent lighting throughout the boat. I'm now backing out of the cabin and we're going to go into the port guest head which has a stall shower with sauna. Uh, we're now going to go into the starboard uh, forward guest cabin which has been converted to a office. Um, the uh, tabletop uh, lifts up and there's a cushion under it to convert to a berth. Uh, we have shelf lockers and uh, a full height um, locker as well.